to another My Damn Toys video today, ladies and gentlemen. It is that time for another fantasy booking video for you guys. Elimination Chamber coming up this Sunday next to the Royal Rumble and Money in the Bank. Elimination Chamber is one of my favorite times of the year, or one of my favorite match stipulations, if you will. I, I gotta be honest with you, since like they changed the structure of the chamber and it's not as like death looking, you know, it's not as like hardcore looking. They made it safer, which is obviously better for the talent and everything, but as a fan, you know, I want the I want the health of the talent to be at the highest priority, but at the same time, you know, it does suck that we don't get as much, you know, blood and guts, or we don't get as many crazy stuff happening inside the chamber, which is, uh, you know, the pads and the and the safer environment. I kind of wish that it was, you know, make it look more deathly, but keep it safer, if that makes sense. You could still make it look threatening, at least, I guess, but it's still a cool, modern-looking cage, but that's besides the point, guys. Elimination Chamber, while it is, you know, more watered down, we don't get it when a few calls for it. It's more of a thing that they do every single year, and I understand it. You know, it is what it is. But today, guys, we're going to be fantasy booking these things, and I'm excited. I'm very excited to fantasy book this, and I think you guys are going to get a kick out of what I have to say. Now, one thing that is weird is you guys know that Roman Reigns is going to be defending his championship at the pay-per-view, but it will be against the winner of the Elimination Chamber matchup, which kind of throws a wrench in a little bit of it, but I think I figured it out how I would fantasy book it. So if you guys don't know how these videos work, pretty much I'm in charge. Vince McMahon came up to me handed me the keys to the kingdom. He said, MDT, you're running this show. What you say goes, let's book this thing. So that is what we're doing right here. So on this night, we do have two Elimination Chamber matches. We have our Women's Championship match, a Triple Threat U.S. title match, and then, of course, Roman Reigns taking on the winner of the SmackDown Elimination Chamber. So before we get into things, let's start off with the lesser matchups or the matchups I'm not really looking forward to, really. And the first one's going to be Asuka versus Lacey Evans. I'm going to go Asuka defeating Lacey Evans because Charlotte is going to interfere. I would send Charlotte out there, just get that feud over with. Let Charlotte and Lacey battling it out at WrestleMania in their own little deal, which is not very good, but God, I hope Lacey Evans doesn't win, man. I can see that happening. Lacey gets the championship from Asuka using Ric Flair, and then it's Charlotte versus Lacey for the Raw, you know, the Raw Women's Championship at Mania. That sounds god-awful, but that's probably how they're going to do it. I would do Charlotte interferes, cost Lacey Evans the match, and then Asuka goes on, does something else, and then them two feud, whatever, even though that feud's god-awful. Now, moving into our next matchup, guys, it is going to be the triple threat match. You got Bobby Lashley, the U.S. champion, defending against Matthew Riddle, terrible formula, and Keith Lee. Now, this matchup right here should bang. I think it should be an outstanding matchup. Hopefully, they give these guys time to do what they want to do. But Bobby Lashley defends his championship. Then, uh, you know, he hasn't really done much with the championship. However, he has held it for a little bit now. So, I think that is going to come to an end. The only thing is, is who do you want to put it on? And I honestly think that I want to put it, I think I'm going to give it to Matt Riddle, man. I want to see what Matt Riddle can do with the championship. I want to see how he's portrayed on TV. I know he's kind of got the RVD role, right? He's kind of a goofy. He makes some weird, funny jokes sometimes backstage. He kind of messes around and stuff. I'm going to go with Matt Riddle getting the win, and I think him and Keith Lee could feud going forward, maybe. You know, let Bobby go off and do his thing with the Hurt Business. I think Matt Riddle and Keith Lee would make for a really great television, and maybe that could be your feud moving forward. I just hope that we get the championship off of Lashley. I'd like to see one of these guys carry. Even if Keith Lee were to win, I would fantasy book it for Matt Riddle to win, just because I want to see what he can do in that capacity. Capacity, maybe some sick-ass USA gear for the brosif. But I'm going to go Matt Riddle to pick up the win and uh, see where we go from there. But I would be fine with either of these gentlemen winning. So for our two chamber matchups, guys, I feel like we probably need to get into the WWE Championship one first because we know that the Universal Championship is going to probably play off of each other. So I'll do those in like a two-in-one series and then we'll go ahead and do the WWE Championship chamber. So for the WWE Championship Elimination Chamber, guys, there's a lot of interesting factors in here. Let's go ahead and go over the field real quick. We got Drew McIntyre, AJ Styles, Jeff Hardy, Randy Orton, Sheamus, and Kofi Kingston. Pretty good field right here. I would have liked to seen maybe a, you know, a younger talent or some younger talents getting in here, but the story in this thing is WWE champions, former champions, former grand finale, so they're trying to make Drew McIntyre go through a gauntlet of champions, if you will, here in this matchup. He obviously has the story connecting to Sheamus to Randy Orton, and he has some enemies in this matchup. Now, let's get into it. Now, remember, this is fantasy booking, so what I can do, some crazy off the wall ish here. Now, I think a lot of people are thinking that Randy Orton's gonna win and it will be Randy Orton as WWE Champion, taking the title into Mania, and then you guys know the Royal Rumble winner, of course, was Edge, his arch nemesis that he's been feuding with for a year, and uh, we're gonna get Randy Orton versus Edge, number three, WWE Championship at WrestleMania. Now, that would be cool and grand. I'd be fine with that. A lot of people are kind of pissed off about that idea. I, for one, actually wouldn't mind that, but that's not what I'm gonna pull the trigger on right here. I'm gonna have it battling it out. 
Brad, all guys are doing battle. You know, Kofi gets eliminated. Jeff Hardy gets eliminated. Randy Orton gets eliminated. Now it's like, oh my God, we're down to our final three here. Brad, you got the best friend or the ex-best friend of Drew McIntyre in Sheamus. Well, you guys know that Sheamus did turn on Drew McIntyre. Well, Brad, Sheamus has an extra set of keys, right? Sheamus lets somebody into the chamber. Who is that somebody? None other than Goldberg. I know, it's crazy. Just think about it. Just give me a minute. Sheamus unlocks the door. Goldberg gets in. Bro kick to Drew McIntyre. Spear to Drew McIntyre. Jackhammer to Drew McIntyre. So he looks hella strong. Sheamus eliminates Drew McIntyre. Drew McIntyre is now gone from the situation. He is eliminated. Stone Cold shot. Goldberg just helped Sheamus eliminate Drew McIntyre. So at this moment, it is AJ Styles and Sheamus in the chamber. Well, Sheamus is so caught up in, in, in this thing that Omos gets in the chamber when it's unlocked for Goldberg. Almost gets in to help AJ Styles. Almost takes out Goldberg. AJ Styles hits a phenomenal forearm on Sheamus. And one, two, three, Sheamus is gone. And the new WWE champion is AJ Styles. Who the hell saw this coming, Brad? Now look what we got. You got Drew McIntyre and Goldberg and Sheamus kind of feuding all together going into WrestleMania. And Edge challenges AJ Styles to have Edge versus Styles at WrestleMania for the WWE Championship. There you go. That's my fantasy booking for the WWE Championship Elimination Chamber. Let me know what you guys think about this down in the comment section below. A little bit of craziness, you know, but you could see somewhat of it happening. Even if you don't agree with the Sheamus and the Goldberg and all these different, you know, things that could take place, you could still have AJ Styles winning the Chamber match straight up and having Edge, uh, you know, go after the championship with AJ Styles. I just don't want Edge really to take on Roman. I feel like Roman's red hot, even though it would be a great story, Spear versus Spear, top level babyface versus top face heel. I feel like I need Edge to have a big moment at Mania, and I also need Roman to win at Mania. So for those reasons, I'm going to go Edge for championship here in the WWE title, and then Roman can retain his Universal Championship. But let's go ahead and get into that scenario right the hell now. So for our Universal Championship Elimination Chamber, obviously Roman Reigns is not in this chamber matchup. These six participants will go at it. The winner of this matchup will go on later in the night to take on Roman. So Jey Uso, Kevin Owens, King Corbin, trash. Demi Zayn, Cesaro, and Daniel Bryan all doing war here. Now, when you first look at this matchup, I mean, you got some good stuff going on. I think there's plenty of talent in this matchup, but I feel like the lineup could use a little spice, if you will. And you're probably wondering, what the hell are you talking about? So you guys know that Cesaro the other night, he was out there with Seth Rollins. Seth Rollins returned, and he was saying that he wants to leave the locker room, and the whole locker room walked out on his ass and whatever, and then Cesaro got attacked by Rollins, and then Daniel Bryan came in, and Bryan came in and helped out, right? Bryan came to the rescue of Cesaro, okay? So in this matchup, Daniel Bryan, Daniel Bryan, Kevin Owens, Trash Corbin, Jey Uso, and Sami Zayn will all be in the ring. I get It doesn't matter who starts it off as long as it's not Daniel Bryan. Daniel Bryan will be sealed in his pod, right? Well, out comes Cesaro. It's going to be Cesaro versus Trash Corbin, Sami Zayn. It really doesn't matter. It's just, let's just say it's, it's KO, okay? So we got KO and Cesaro starting off our matchup. Here comes Cesaro to the ring. He's going to be the final entrant. He's going to start off our matchup versus Kevin Owens. He's dootsy dootsy doing down to the ring, right? Here he comes to get inside the elimination chamber. Bow! Monday Night Messiah. Seth freaking Rollins takes him out, Brad. Seth Rollins takes out Cesaro. He's uh, no longer able to compete. Takes his ass out. Hits him with a chair, maybe a concerto, maybe a, a curb stomp onto the steel steps. Something crazy. Cesaro gets stretchered out. Daniel Bryan can't do anything about it, right? He can't save his friend. He's locked in the chamber. He's pounding on the chamber. What the hell is this, Brad? Seth Rollins replaces Cesaro in the chamber. So now we have Seth Rollins, Sami Zayn, Jey Uso, King Trash, KO, and Daniel. Daniel Bryan. We go to war. We go to freaking war. All of them go all out. I guess your last three remaining, I'd say Trash has gone first, obviously. You gotta take the Trash out early. You got Jey Uso. He was in it, but he got he got taken out. Sami Zayn. Sami Zayn gets taken out as well. So here's our final three. Seth Rollins, Daniel Bryan, Kevin freaking Owens. Now there's a few ways this thing can go. I think the one thing that a lot of people are thinking is Kevin Owens is gonna win the Elimination Chamber and then go on to fight Roman again at the main 
main event and he'll end up falling short yet again, removing him finally from the matchup. I love Kevin Owens and all that junk, but I think that uh, that's one too many matchups. He's had his opportunities. He did get screwed out of him, you know, with the ref count and the handcuffs and the hey, hey, it hurts me, but I think that Kevin Owens is not going to win on this night. So we get a little mini triple threat match, right? KO, Seth Rollins, and Daniel Bryan going to war at the end of the war. Of course, Kevin Owens does get eliminated. This is down to Daniel Bryan and Seth Rollins. They're going at it. They're going at it. At the end of the day, Seth Rollins ends up defeating Daniel Bryan, and we get Seth Rollins winning the Elimination Chamber, right? He crashed the party. He took out Cesaro. He's on top of the world. Daniel Bryan fended off Seth Rollins to help Cesaro, but Seth Rollins got the last lap, Brad. He enters the chamber and wins. So now we're down to our Universal Championship match at Elimination Chamber. Roman Football Reigns versus Seth Rollins. Mono y mono. This would be a beautiful matchup, by the way. Anyways, I know we've seen it, but I would like to see it in, in modern iteration right here. So obviously, Seth Rollins just went through the gauntlet, right? He obviously just went through the gauntlet, but after the matchup, Daniel Bryan attacks Seth Rollins. So Seth Rollins isn't really, he's definitely discombobulated, right? Daniel Bryan takes out Rollins and uh, he flees the scene. So Daniel Bryan takes off and Roman Reigns pretty much easily defeats Seth Rollins to retain the Universal Championship. So you're probably like, well, Brad, what the hell was the point of that? Well, on our next few weeks, we're going to end up building the Roman Reigns versus Seth Rollins versus Daniel Bryan at WrestleMania. And there is your WrestleMania matchup. Not only do you get Rollins versus Bryan, you get all three men doing battle. And I probably would have Roman retain because I don't think either of these guys right now could dethrone Roman. Nobody should dethrone Roman right now, but it mixes it up a little bit from the KO situation. No outside guy coming in. Three main top talents battling it out over the Blue Universal Championship, and that would be your two matches. Triple threat on this side for the Universal Championship, and uh, you've got AJ doing battle with the, uh, obviously, Royal Rumble winning Edge, and then I'd also have, so this will be our programs going into Mania, AJ Edge, triple threat for Universal, and then our NXT Championship would be Finn Balor versus Walter for the UK and NXT Championship or you could do Cross versus Balor or you could do Cole versus O'Reilly versus Balor. So there you go. But anyways guys, that is going to do it for my Fantasy Booking Elimination Chamber matchup and we kind of fantasy booked all the way to Mania right there, but you know, this cha this chamber is definitely going to set up our Mania matches. Whatever we're getting in Mania is going to start here at the chamber and uh, before we get out of here guys, I want to give a huge shout out to SJA Wrestling. It's his birthday and I did want to give him a huge shout out on his birthday and uh, I think I think I made him a promise like a year ago that I would shout him out on his birthday and I wanted to stay true to my word, give him a shout out there. So huge shout out to SJA Wrestling, guys. Go give him a follow. I think he's starting up a figure fed and definitely go check him out. But I'm getting out of here, guys. Hope you guys did enjoy everything. Let me know what you think of my thoughts on the fantasy booking. Should I replace Vince in the head office or gorilla position? Let me know. And I'll see you guys in the next video. And, uh, you know... If you want to be like Seth Rollins, cross the line. I'm just kidding. What are you doing? You cross the line. I've been beaten.